So this build is amazing. You'll absolutely shred through bosses and enemies and heal yourself at the same time. The only downside is that your screen will light up like a Christmas tree with all of these particle effects. But let me show you how to clear literally all the content super easy. Let's go. Should I do more builds for all the characters? Let me know in the comments. So this cloud build will essentially clear all of the content in the game and it revolves around using the right materia and linking them correctly, as well as essentially just smacking things with your big sword. So essentially how this works is we're mainly leveraging the elemental materia, which you can then link with a spell materia. So in this case, I've linked it with fire and ice as fire and ice are probably the most common weaknesses. So essentially with this, all all of your standard weapon attacks will deal elemental damage of that exact type. So it will deal fire and ice on top of the physical damage it already does. So this essentially just allows you to hit enemies for weakness constantly, which in turn for like majority of the enemies in the game, when you hit them for weakness, they eventually get pressured. So you can constantly pressure enemies in that way. On top of this, we are combining the enemy skill materia with the HP absorption materia. So we'll cover enemy skill in a little bit more detail shortly and how essentially that works. But basically, because we're combining these two material, which personally I don't think should make sense, but it does for some reason. So with HP absorption, anytime you use a spell or something from that linked material, it will then give you health. So essentially what we're doing here is using plasma discharge, which deals lightning damage. So essentially now with this, our basic attacks are doing fire, ice and lightning damage, plus the physical damage as well. And then every time you gain a ATB, there will be like a lightning explosion. That explosion will heal you you. So every time that like pop triggers, you will actually get some health back from that trigger. And then obviously the higher level your HP absorption material is, the more health you get back. So what you really need for this build from the material perspective is the enemy skill material, which you do get from Chadley's combat simulator. Now the benefits to enemy skill isn't just the fact that it gives you sonic boom right from the start. The sonic boom is fantastic. This will increase your attack power and your magic attack power by giving you the faith and bravery status effects while you use this. Now, again, because we've linked this with HP absorption, every time you use Sonic Boom, you'll get some health back. So when you level this up as well, you'll actually get passive bonuses from having this enemy skill material equipped. So making sure you level this up just to get those passive bonuses to your HP, MP strength, etc. The real kicker really is Plasma Discharge, which is the second enemy skill you can get from Chadley. You do need to complete like the Junon region stuff here to actually unlock the Combat Simulator Challenge. Once you've done that, you get the Plasma Discharge and you can just trigger this at the start of encounters. Now, when you have got this effect active, it'll basically just last the entire encounter. So it'll only cost you really that one ATB and then you can just use this and have this active. And then every time you need to trigger the status effects to increase your attack power, then you just like drop that ATB into Sonic Boom. Now, because this like pop effect happens every time you gain a ATB, you wanna make sure you're dumping your ATB with various skills. So then you can constantly keep refreshing it to keep that effect happening. So you're essentially just like constantly gaining those effects from having that equipped it. And then the HP absorb material also comes from Chadley, but it comes from his coral region, like materia store. So you'll have to do some of the intel there to be able to grab that. And then you can link these two on one of your pieces of gear. The elemental materia comes from a combat simulator challenge from Chadley in the Junon region. And fire and ice just comes from his grassland store, I believe. And then you can add these two to link them. Now, if you do need to say you come across enemies that are, you know, weak to wind, lightning, etc., right? You can change that fire and ice and link it with like the lightning and wind or wind, etc. So you can mix up that elemental type if you do need to. With the rest of your slots, I would also grab First Strike, which gives you a major ATB boost at the start of the encounter. This will pretty much make sure that you have one ATB at the very start of the fight, right? You can use that to either cast Assess just to check weaknesses or just to it like instantly add Plasma Discharge onto your weapon. And then as soon as you get another one, you can then cast Sonic Boom. So then you've got those attack bonuses on top of that. ATB Stagger is also good. So every time you stagger enemies, which you'll do heaps because you're constantly going to be damaging them, you'll then get extra ATB, which will then trigger that effect again. So essentially the more you can trigger like increasing your ATB, the more like damage pops you'll get off and the more damage you will actually do. For your equipment, we are using the Sleek Saber here because it's basically the highest attack power sword. You can get this super early in the game. You can buy it from Calm as I've said in other videos, but apparently you don't actually need to buy it. If you go near the swamp, like the first time you get there in chapter two, you'll actually be able to get it from a chest. But I didn't know that because I bought the sword immediately after I saw it because I was like, damn, that's a good sword and I bought it. But so yeah, thank you guys for letting me know that 
that in the comments of my other videos. But what are your weapon skills here? You want to put attack power up on it just to give you extra attack power plus ATB charge up as well. So you, obviously we know why you want more ATB. We've already talked about that. Your other equipment doesn't really matter. Just make sure that whatever you've got on actually has those linked materia slots so that you can have that secondary linked one that we've got for this build. For your weapon abilities, we've talked about why Sonic Boom is great. We've talked about why Plasma Discharge is great. If you want to finish in combat, like when you stagger like these big enemies, you want to finish them off. I really like Infinity's End. This will cost you two ATB, which is super easy to generate with this build. And essentially this is like a massive attack that'll just like land and deal like almost 10,000 damage on staggered enemies when you are hitting them with weakness because of the element of materia that we've got equipped it as well. Now this comes from the Crystal Sword, which you'll get at the end of chapter nine in a particular area that I won't say anything else about, but it's in a main story event right at the end of chapter nine. It's pretty easy to grab if you're exploring just as you should be doing in main mission so you shouldn't miss it and also like disorder is pretty good this comes from the rune blade like this is a good way to spend atb with like a quick attack because most of like the atb spending skills are a bit of, like they take a bit of load up time they take a little bit to trigger whereas this one's very quick so disorder is pretty good for that as well but essentially the main crux of using your abilities here is that you just want to be dumping that atb quickly and then generating atb and because disorder does both of that right when you land that hit you generate atb but it also costs you an ATB to use. You can just sort of keep triggering that with different effects. Some build tips for this video, like when you're leveling up your materia, if you want to level them up faster, the AP up materia is obviously great for that. I'll link my materia video here if you want to know specifics about like where to get that and other materia. You can move the assess materia to another party member if you don't want Cloud to have it, though I think it's just easier to have him have it because he's basically with you like 99% of the time with the game, but you can move it to someone else if you wanted to use that materia slot to have something else equipped, like some other buff or something like that. But yeah, like the general focus of this build at the start of that combat encounter is just make sure you cast Plasma Discharge and then you cast Sonic Boom to give you that attack power buff. And then you just want to be dumping your ATB that you generate in any way that you see fit, right? Like if the enemy has a weakness to a certain damage type, let's say it's ice, you want to be casting Snow Flurry or whatever like ice attacks you've got just to dump that ATB and then keep generating it quickly. So then you just like hit in that cycle of like that Plasma Charge defect going off. Sonic Boom's obviously buffing all of your stats and then you just dealing damage and you essentially shred through most encounters like for basically like getting footage for this build like most encounters don't last longer than like two minutes because you just absolutely shred them and you can even do like additional effects of this right like say if you're using red as your party member or any of the others that have the united refocus synergy skill you can then cast that which will give cloud three atb bars which essentially gives you another opportunity to generate that plasma discharge before you have to actually dump it right because you've got that additional bar and your charge rate is so high you can keep generating it very quickly and there's you know other synergy skills you can use here to like benefit you and like buff you as well but for the most part like you don't really necessarily need any specific party members or anything here like it's just it, it it works really well and it's so easy to like set up this build and it just keeps getting better the further you get into the game as you get those additional weapon skills and as you gain like those materia levels and adding those additional effects and the different buffs that you get from it like it, it comes together so well and so comfortably that i absolutely highly recommend putting this build together for your cloud and you'll just be able to clear through pretty much all the content in the game right but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is Norza, and i hope you have a great day